So here we have two force diagrams. And what I want to do is I want to draw a diagram to show the resultant force for both of them. And then I want to describe the motion of the particle. OK? So let's have a look at this particle first. So what's happening? Well, this particle is getting pulled at 40 newtons upwards, 40 newtons downwards. So they're going to cancel one another out. It's getting pulled 50 newtons to the right, but only 30 newtons to the left. And so the resultant force would be 20 newtons to the right. OK, so the particle will accelerate to the right. OK, so it's being pulled at 20 newtons to the right, and so it will accelerate, OK, because its resultant force is non-zero by Newton's first law. Let's have a look at number two. Now, in this case, uh, we've got 60 newtons going up, 50 newtons going down, so the resultant f uh, vertical component will be 10 newtons. And we've got 25 newtons going to the right, 15 newtons going to the left, and so we've got a resultant of 10 newtons going to the right. OK? So what will happen? Well, it'll be on a trajectory going up that way, won't it? OK? So what we can do is you can visualise this like a triangle. So 10 newtons along, 10 newtons up, OK, so 10 along, 10 up, a right angle triangle. Now, because that's isosceles, that's straightforward. That's going to be 45 degrees, OK? And the magnitude of this vector will be the square root of 10 squared plus 10 squared. So square root of 200, OK? So square root 200, 10 root 2, OK? So... Describing this particle, so the particle will travel um, at 45 degrees to the horizontal Okay, I should really put accelerate it's accelerating in that direction. Well, the particle will travel 45 degrees to the horizontal, OK, um, with magnitude uh, 10 root 2 uh, newtons. OK. And accelerating in that direction. OK, and so that is what's going to be happening to these two particles.